Okay, I'm out here walking. This is day three of Cha Cha's Chronicles. And uh, I'm just walking in the neighborhood. And I'll be back to let you know what I'm eating for breakfast. So this morning, I'm making an omelet for breakfast. I am using two eggs. And to fill the omelet, I'm gonna use spinach, grape tomatoes, and some cheese. So now I'm waiting for the pan to warm up. I'm using uh, extra light olive oil only because uh, I picked this up by mistake. So I was like, let me use it all up. I usually use extra virgin olive oil. And I just use a little bit in the pan. You only need a little bit. And what I'm gonna do, why I put the, um, the reason why I put the olive oil is because I'm going to saute the tomatoes and the spinach just a little bit. <clears throat> and this ceramic pan I picked up from Ross um, I think I paid about 13 14 bucks for it this is one of my favorite things to cook in I love this pan uh, it really the food doesn't really stick in it it's easy clean up and I just I, I want a set of these pans and I uh, wish I could find this particular brand but I have not been able to find it and right now I have the oil inside of it so now I can I cannot <laughs> turn it upside down but I, what I normally do is I just put a handful of spinach because you know spinach will cook down and I have about one one two three four five I have six grape tomatoes and you season to taste uh, this is seasoned salt so I just put a little seasoned salt and pepper. And I'll just, just saute it. I just usually make sure that it gets coated with the olive oil all the leaves get coated with the olive oil I don't do a hard cook with these I'm just sauteing them a little bit I love spinach and kale uh, even collards and I have juiced collards uh, mustard greens I love all of those that type of greenery I'm not too big of a fan of um, iceberg lettuce but I do like romaine my husband he loves iceberg lettuce to me iceberg lettuce has no nutritional value so to me it's like exercise just for my jaws because you just all the time with iceberg lettuce <laughs> I, I like the darker green um, leaves okay and then I'll just set this aside because I'll let you see what it looks like See, all of that lettuce, mm -mm, lettuce, I'm sorry, all of that spinach that I had, it cooked all the way down. So I'm just setting it aside. I 
you may prefer to wipe the pan out. I um, it's no big deal to me. But I'm going to go ahead and just put my eggs right on into that pan. You you don't need any additional oil, no butter, anything. Just add the egg. Just let the egg cook. Omelets are like one of the easiest things to make. I make them quite often for myself. I do not make them for anyone else. My husband, he is allergic to eggs, so... It's just me. My daughter, she's never said anything about liking omelets. So I just make them for myself. Now I've just incorporated the spinach and tomato in. And now I'm just going to put the cheese. Now, I, I often do this. I forgot to put the cheese in first so it would be closer to the heat. I always do that. <laughs> now you just, you just flip it over. Let that cook just a little bit more. And now it's done. See how easy that just slid out? I didn't even have a problem with that. This pan is awesome. Now, let me see if I could. Nope, there's no name on this pan. Maybe that's why I couldn't find the name, uh, the make of it. <laughs> and I threw the package that it was wrapped up away as soon as I, you know, uh, opened it. But anyway, here's my omelet. Now, sometimes I may top it with some salsa, and I might do that today, but it's easy. Two egg omelet with spinach and tomato. And I'll be back to let you know what I'm eating for lunch and dinner. My breakfast, two egg omelet with spinach, tomato, and cheese on the inside. I just put a little salsa sauce, fresh fruit. I have uh, strawberries and bananas and a cup of coffee with cream, no sugar. 